This example, we are going to determine the average rate of change of the function f of x equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 over the given intervals. For the first one of part A, the interval is given from 1 to 3. That means if we write as the first interval a, b, a is 1, b is 3, the average rate of change of the function is f at b minus f at a divided by b minus a or the function at 3 minus the function at 1 divided by 3 minus 1. So on the side note, we're going to compute the function value at each x, x value. So f at 1 is 3 times 1 squared minus 5 times 1 plus 2 or 3 minus 5 plus 2 turns out to be 0 and the function at 3, which is 3 times 3 squared minus 5 times 3 plus 2. You got 3 times 9, which is 27. 5 and 3 is 15 and then plus 2. The number turns out to be this 12, this is 14. So we place the function values um, <clears throat> within the formula here. So f at 3, which is 14, minus f at 1 is 0, 3 minus 1 is 2, so the number turns out to be 7. So the next part, the given interval in the form of the notation c and c plus h, that means the a is c and the b is C plus H, where H is not zero, that makes the left and the right end are not the same number. The, the average rate of change formula is the function at B minus function at A divided by B minus A. In this case, the B is the quantity C plus H. The A is C and all divided by B minus A, which is C plus H minus C, which simplify to be just the H for the denominator. So on the side notes, we're going to look for the expression for the function at C. The input going to be C. That means if C is 3 times C squared minus 5 times C plus 2. And the function at c plus h is going to be 3 times the quantity c plus h squared minus 5 times c plus h plus 2. And simplify more to be 3 times the power 2 means the parentheses of c plus h multiplied by itself twice. So we use the perfect square um, expansion to have c squared plus twice of c and h, and then plus h squared, minus 5 times c, minus 5 times h, plus 2. And simplify by expanding or distributing 3 to all terms. We have 3c squared, plus 6 times c times h, plus 3 times h squared, minus 5c, minus 5h, plus 2. Okay. Bring all the terms or the expression over to the formula of the average rate of change. Then for the function at c plus h, we're going to replace with 3c squared plus 6 times c h plus 3 times h squared minus 5c minus 5 times h and then plus 2. And subtracted by the quantity of the function at c or 3c squared minus 5c plus 2, all divided by h. Next, we're going to simplify the numerator. We can see that 3c squared minus 3c squared equals 0. Negative 5c minus negative 5c will be gone. 2 minus 2 gone. The expression for that numerator will be simplified to 6 C times six times C times H plus three plus 
three times h square and then minus five h all divided by h. All three terms of the numerator has h as a common factor. So we factor the h out. We have six times c plus three times h minus five all divided by h. We can see that the factor h and h can be reduced. Then the simplified term of the average rate of change is going to be 6 times c plus 3 times h minus 5.